Hey guys, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level matches for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own matches. Uh, today we're watching Aman Kumar versus Xiong Nim, Xiong Shin Kim uh, from Korea. I'm actually not sure where Kumar is from, but uh, this one was one of the top ones when I popped up for Taekwondo fights, so let's get into it. This is actually watching my first time through, so I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. Hopefully it's there's some stuff. Oh, world ranking 201. Grand Slam ranking 10. So this guy's and he has an Asian Games patch. I think it's Asian Games patch. Both 20 young guys. Ranking is not about mid rank. Get into it. Nice. I like the aggression. Okay. So opening match against Korea. Um, if you guys ever find yourself against Korea. Fight your own game, just because they're Korea. I mean, don't don't just let them run you over. Good, good being aggressive. Oh, nice flick. So, obviously, it's uh, obviously you got scored on. Keep your hands up. Good headshot though. Nice try to bring it right back. Neither player really giving ground backwards. Oh. Never mind. I'm just out of it. Good job by Korea trying to force him out there. Good. Not bad. Nice try. So, something to note is um, in the first 30 seconds of this match, neither player really moved backward that far, which is becoming more and more common here as we... Um, as you guys watch more international level matches, not many people move back as often. And so with the threat of coming in, especially with that first kick where Blue got scored on here, Blue's adjustment has been to do a lot of short kicks and to chip away the distance. And it wasn't until he got back here where you notice he started flicking for the head. Like if you watch this whole little sequence here, short, 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 short. And then when he felt like he wasn't moving back, that's when he started flicking to the head. So good job. Good, good small adjustments there. Balling at so low of a bailout right there. No, not, not bad. Nice try on the reset. Red might initiate here. Good try, try for the force out. Oh, nice job kicking short. No, he's going to come in because he's at the edge. So this was good because uh, a little bit of older school strategy, I'd say. Here, backs out. He notices he's off balance. And so if he's off balance, the next sequence is to try and get him out, out of bounds. And once you've tried to force him out of bounds, he's in bounds. There's a high tendency he's going to be coming in towards you. So red kicks short underneath, knowing that blue's coming in. Tries for the force out. Kicks underneath, knowing blue's coming in. Good good job by red picking that, picking that up. I almost want to say blue should kick to the head more often, given how often red is coming in here. Like... Oh, man, he's getting murked. Oh, nice. Okay, brought it back a little bit. A little bit more head. That's right. No, from the front leg. Just off the line from the front leg. And then for those of you who don't know, I, I believe this is a Grand Slam, so it's not... Um, Number of points total, it's his number of rounds won. It's a different format. Oh, nice tap there. Oh, why, why? Uh, not necessary to spin. I guess if you're really trying for it, sure. It looked kind of like half-hearted, though, so I wouldn't... I don't think that was a good call. I don't know about those... I don't know about this calls, but it is what it is. Nice try. Off the line to the head, mate. Short to the face. Just short to the face. On the nice try. Just right. Just, just straight. Just. Ah. Uh, Head, oh, just 
So the reason I want him to go to the head is because Red is standing his ground so often. So a short kick to the face, direct, no hang, no nothing, I feel like might might be able to work, at least get his hands up, set you up for a body shot later. The ratio from high to low, I think, was a little bit too far. Too many shots to the uh, body. Um, he could have maximized and made some more points if he went for the head a little bit more often. So as you guys are fighting, not only is there a setup, but if you're not getting through and your setups aren't working, change targets quite often. Keep them keep them guessing. Nice flick there. Okay. Nice aggression here from Red. He's changing up from last mat, last round where he was uh, a little bit more patient. Now I feel I think he feels more confident with Blue's speed and timing and is bringing the game to Blue. Nice try on the punch. I normally don't punch close stance. So usually it's open, but I don't know if the game has changed. That might be a new thing. Oh, just bring it straight to his head, bro. I mean, I'm, he might block it, but at least you get his hands up so you can flick to the head later and then go to the body. Punch. He's not even really moving back. Just go straight for the face. Uh, that'd be my adjustment. Obviously, easier said than done here. Um, might be worried about some kind of counter. Nice try. Nice try with that follow-up here on the edge. Very good. Nice. Very nice flick. Keep pressure on. Don't back up. Oh, my. Don't back up. After, for you guys who are watching at home, don't, after you score... Look immediately for more points because you know after they get hit, they're going to be a little bit hot-headed. They're going to want their point back. That's a perfect time for you to go to the head again, try and find more points as they're uh, not as they're not mentally quite there. Right here, this is where I would have been more aggressive. This would, like After you score that headshot, be more aggressive and then reset it when you're on the offensive movement instead of um, kind of like skidding backwards here. Uh, he, he gave away his movement back already. After you score the headshot, I mean, this is context specific, but I feel like in this situation, after you scored the headshot, in order to establish, like, almost like dominance, I would have cut or done something very aggressive toward red again, or reset the game that way, versus um, back up, you know, scoot that bag like twice, showing you're going to move backwards. And then now red's, red's here on kind of a furious onslaught. Dictate the match. Dictate the match by, you know, initiating, by motioning forward, by cutting hard. Just because you're ahead, don't sit. Keep threatening him. Oh, you're you're winning the match, bro, but uh, don't sell a D. There you go, changing it up a little bit. Oh, good. Kept that in the back pocket. Good job for Blue here. Was this the master game plan? I don't know. But I think um, something that could be added is add the aggression and then when you're in clinch, then sneak this guy in. You don't need to let Red run like run the offense on you for a while before you sneak this in. Here and doop. Very nice. Very nice. Well done by Blue there. And notice he didn't even do that. He didn't do that first round, which is what I like about the move. He, oh, they wiped it because it's uh, he said holding. But that was um that was good for them to hold on to it until the second round because if they showed that first round, Red would be a lot more cautious in the clinch. In situations like this, it may be uh, if in situations like this, it may not have went over so well. And he, Red may be more alert if he had done this first round, but Blue kept it for second round, which is great. I don't know if this is actually gonna get through here. Uh, let's oh, looks like they let him keep it. Oh, this is just a replay. Oh, they took it away. No. That's unfortunate. Don't let Red dictate. Nice. Very nice. Cut. Can Red do this? Second round. Nice try. 
More, more. There you go. There you go. There you go. Nice try. And cut again. Cut, cut. Ah, oh, okay. It's okay. For me, it's a lot of, uh, oh. Oh, he hit him. Oh. Go forward. Take the middle. Take the middle. Okay. 10, 11, or 11, 7. Cut, 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 cut. Oh. Oh, it's getting close. Oh, oh, he hit him with the body. Uh, it's like you can't sit, bro. Dang it. That was uh, that was pretty good. Good job by Red here to pull out the plays when he needed to. I think Blue's, um, I'd almost say where Blue could improve the most. He did pretty good job against this um, university player from Korea here. I would say where Blue can improve the most is um, he could do a couple more direct headshots, work on that, and mix that in with his body shots so the ratio isn't like 90% body, 10% head, 80% body, 10%. Like a 70-30, 60-40 mix would probably keep Red a little bit more on his toes. Um, and besides that, uh, the one I was harping on earlier was after you get the headshot, maintain your offense. Just because your head isn't an excuse to sit back and go defense. Um, if you notice the first round, Blue was kind of bringing the match to him. In the second round, Red got more aggressive, and instead of Blue matching that aggression, he kind of sat a little bit more back defensively and let Red run the offense on him versus standing and fighting him toe-to-toe. Uh, -to -toe. So I think in the future, my um, outside third perspective looking in on this, Blue could do better by, after hitting the headshot, maintain the offensive pressure and look for more points the way you just got that one versus um, being a little bit more defensive and passive and you could tell on sometimes with red motion he'd he'd step that that back foot backwards indicating he was going backwards i think there's a lot of ground that blue gave up and there's a lot of times where if he had initiated or went into clash at the same time as red red may have gotten mixed up a little bit more with the kicks um some a little more kicks would have jammed some of the things may not have gone through uh, that being said red was really skilled though to get that back kick in almost like uzbekistan in uh in the olympics that that dethroned everyone but anyway guys that's it for today's video thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys when i can peace